Hey Scorpio, welcome back. I hope you're all doing amazing. Um, this is going to be your new moon in Aries reading, which took place at 12.12 this morning. Um, it's the second new moon during Aries season. And it's also at a time where there's a total solar eclipse energy. Now, the total solar eclipse is lasting until 2025. This new moon energy will last for a few weeks. We also have Mercury in retrograde, which is tomorrow, and I will be doing a separate reading for that. The total solar eclipse reading is already out for your sign, so if you haven't seen that yet, take um, you know head over to my page and check that out. But this is how the new moon in your in Aries is going to affect your sign. You are not a prisoner to your schedule, not if you don't choose to see it that way at least. With the April new moon 2023. <clears throat> taking place in your sixth house of daily routines, you've been invited by the stars to transform how you look at your habits. With this second dose of this energy being activated, it's like the stars are asking, so, have you? It's not about adding daily meditations or exercise to your list of chores, not if you don't want to. But, if it, it, but it is about finding time in your day. Purposeful time, that is, intentional time, to do what you love, and to do what you know will bring you a release. Make time for who and what matters, which ultimately is yourself and your own joy. I love that, Scorpio. Taking time out to go for that walk, to get out there in nature. Taking that time for that bubble bath, or grabbing that beer, or, you know, drink with a girlfriend. Or a guy friend, you know, get, taking that time out, guys, to go to the gym, you know, and ending your day a little bit earlier, maybe at work, or not doing your normal routine, doing something for yourself. All right. Let's see for Scorpio and this new moon in Aries. Okay, thank you. Yang. Getting some balance in your life. There possibly could be a soulmate connection coming towards you. But it's like that peace and harmony in your life. And it's something definitely is coming your way. That's going to be a blessing. You're going to see it as a blessing. And it's almost going to give you that like deep breath. That sigh of relief. That stretch. It's like the energy of awakening you. And look. You see what I mean? It's going to leave you feeling very happy and alive. All right. For my Scorpios. Spirit the most important messages that they need to hear. Far away places. Maybe some of you want to take that trip. That vacation. Get ready for new horizons. I truly feel something brand new is coming your way. You may even get that phone call from a friend like, you know what, we haven't been to the beach. We haven't been on vacation. Even if it's like, you know, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, let's make that plan. But there's something new coming your way. And again, it's going to have you feeling completely happy. And I just heard a blessing in disguise. So we'll see what comes out. For my Scorpio spirit. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, 41. Change. Embracing the change and being protected by Archangel Uriel. Definitely one of the archangels that I meditate to. Okay, shadow side, the dark night. So some of you could have been going through some dark things in your life. Depression, um, letdowns, things not going in your favor, too many things happening at one time that 
you know, you weren't anticipating or expecting and not in the way that, not turning out the way you wanted them to. I do feel you're facing your fears and your anxieties. See? And you're finding that strength to overcome and allow this brand new beginning into your life that's going to bring you balance. We have Leo energy here with the strength card coming in. And it might mean walking away from something that you're that you're used to. Maybe you go to the same job every day, 9 to 5, 7 to 3:30, maybe doing 3/12s a week and it's just you know, you know that there's more for you. Like you're looking at, you know, pulling into the parking garage or the parking lot and you're like, God, there's got to be more. Finding that courage to figure out what that more is. And walking away from what no longer makes your heart and your soul feel happy. And there's the transcendence coming into unity, like mind, body, and soul. Facing those fears, facing those um, dark things that you think about, those negative thoughts that pop in your mind, and coming together as one, mind, body, and soul. Definitely feel a transformation happening within you, but something brand new coming your way. Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Remember, Archangel Uriel is here. So if you want to look up meditation on YouTube that connects you to Archangel Uriel, do that. All right, bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign or, they, or you have strong air or you have air placement in your chart. But I feel like what's coming towards you is fast moving. It may be even like you wake up one day during this new moon energy and you're like, you know what, I'm going to give my two weeks. I'm ready. And I just heard, I'm ready for whoever says it that way. But I feel like it's a decision that's coming in very quick and it's a blessing that's coming in very quick. Current situation is the tower in reverse. That needed transition. Do you see this? I'm telling you, for those of you that want to walk away from something and are, are waiting for something brand new or for things to start turning in your favor, it's the needed transition. It's the needed change. Three of Cups. Guys, I feel like you're going to be, be, like during this time, you're going to be hit up. A lot of friends, family members, you know, maybe even your siblings wanting to hang out with you. You may be invited um, to a party or a get together where a brand new opportunity is going to be offered to you. So do respond and go to these things during this time. Something about a celebration um, that's going to bring in a blessing. You've been manifesting this, Scorpio. In your thoughts and in your emotions, in your desires, and what you want for your future, you've manifested this, and there's going to be growth. The future, look at this. Nurturing of connections. Storybook ending. Feeling complete. Feeling like you went for the person that you wanted to be with. You accomplished what you wanted to you wanted what you wanted to do. You found happiness with these actions. Feeling emotionally content and being like loving unity and nurturing connections all around you. And what you're letting go of is the complications. The challenges. You're embracing them, yes. 
but you're moving past it, Scorpio. And there it is, the union, the unity of you and someone. If you're wondering, and look at what it's at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups, it, and the Ten of Wow. We got the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. If you're wondering why there had to be such an ending, like a hard ending with someone, if it was very triggering and put you through a dark night, you know, a dark energy that you felt that you needed to climb out of, you know, if it felt harder for you to get over than any other relation, like any other romantic relationship that you've dealt with you know it you were bought it, it's not by coincidence the two of you were brought together I feel for those of you that there has been a hard ending it needed to happen in your life to put you on the path for who you're truly meant to be with and in the energy for yourself of being in a connection and being in the best energy possible for you to be able to offer that energy to someone else. If you're not your best self, how can you offer anybody anything? So I definitely feel a trans, a transformation within you and awakening. Something that needed to end, that brought a trans transition in your life. It was meant to happen exactly the way it happened. Yeah, see? You needed to... Wow. Five of Wands and Five of Pentacles. Scorpio, you needed to come out of this energy of lack. This energy of feeling alone. This um, feeling like there were obstacles and challenges. Like it was always going to be an uphill battle. Like looking at people's lives and saying, shit, like why does everything fall into place for this person? And with me, I'm constantly struggling. There were things that happened that put you in that mindset to pull yourself out of it and make you stronger. And you're overcoming these difficulties. See, that ending had to happen. You're being noticed, Scorpio. For those of you, it's about work and career. You're being noticed. You're 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 showing up. You're putting your effort in. You've got those skills, and you're being noticed. I also feel, in terms of a relationship, you're being noticed. It could be through work that you have this this brand new beginning. This um this unity with someone. There could be somebody admiring you, you know. But there is an abundant offer coming your way. You have Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. An equal give and take in this connection. And you're going to allow your heart to be completely open for it. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. You're not going to see this coming. I'm not getting anything of past energy. I just get an energy of you walking away from what's holding you back. What's, you know, it could be thoughts. It could be actual, you know, like this just doesn't make me happy anymore. And it puts you on the right path for this brand new love to come your way. And you're going to feel emotionally fulfilled with this. For my Scorpio's additional clarity spirit. For my Scorpio's. <clears throat> Alright, we have a card of timing. But we also have Leo energy with the strength card. Again, sun, strength. Strong Leo energy for those of you dealing with Leo. Or have strong Leo in your chart. Within 7 to 14 days during the summer. July 22nd to August 21st. Even if it's like, you know, staying at a job, it's like a belief system. Like breaking your routine from what I read to you earlier. Breaking your routine and going for something that you never, you know, 
just say, you know, my parents, they always worked, and I'm saying this in general, parents, they always work nine to five. They put that good work ethic into us. You know, show up, receive that check, pay your bills, put some in savings, you'll be okay. They showed you that stability, but you know what? Times have changed. You're not happy with showing up nine to five every day. You know, it, it you don't want it. It, it feels like a never-ending story. You're deciding to leave a place that you've been at for 15 years and opening up your own business. It's like breaking free from your, your routine, your belief system. Yes, you're going to keep those grounded beliefs, but you just know that there's more for you. And you're getting out of your head. You're transitioning these darks, this shadow side, this dark energy into that light. See that sun shining in? You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. But for some of you, it's definitely, and we just had two cards fly out. It's definitely in terms of a relationship. This person could be at a distance from you. There is communication coming in. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and now the Bridge. Definitely a brand new beginning for you. Breaking, overcoming the obstacles, pushing them out of the way. You could be dreaming about something specific, like I said, like opening your own job. It could be like a daydream of yours. Opening your own business, sorry, not your own job. Your own business. It could be someone specific that you're dreaming about. But those hard times caused this, Scorpio caused you to wake up, to take that deep breath, give that sigh of relief. And you're even stronger now. You're ready for this commitment that, that's coming in, this communication. And for some of you, it's going to be a higher level of commitment. All right. Now clear your mind, guys. Take that deep breath, and I'm going to... Give you your affirm. Oh. No, nah, we're not taking all those. Let me go back in and shuffle them a little bit more. Just to see if one of them was due. Right. Okay. Alright. This was one of them, so we'll take it because it came out a second time. I listen with love to my body situations. Even when you're going through a dark night of the soul. Please pay attention to your health. Make sure you're eating. Make sure you're getting that, ac that, that accurate rest that you need. Just listen to your body. My body is always working toward optimum health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole, and complete. I express my creativity. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. My work, I'm sorry, my life works beautifully. Don't you love that one? It almost goes with that, the orange, not the orange, the solar chakra. My life works beautifully. Everything in my life works now and forevermore. You got to remember that, guys. Through the difficult times, we become so much stronger. It may feel like we're falling apart, but once you get through it, you'll look back and be like, damn, I am completely a different person. We have Y, A, M, blank Scrabble tile, and I hear we have Maya right here, for those that stand, that stands up, G, D, Y, David just popped in my mind, we have U, K, 
P S R and everything else is a repeat. All right, so take what resonates, Scorpio. Look for your initials, someone you possibly are thinking about because we do have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So there's definitely a love offer coming in for some of you. It could have been a hard thing to walk away from. Maybe it wasn't just, it wasn't in the best energy. It could either be returning to you in a stronger energy, coming back stronger to people, it, or it put you on the path to a brand new love coming your way. Always let me know how it resonates. Leave that flower emoji in the comment section, letting me know you're interested in the three free love readings for this month. Go ahead and subscribe. If you're new, I'm so grateful you're here. Um, and head over to my Etsy shop. The link is in below in the description box. It's on vacation mode, but if you favorite the shop, you'll be notified of when I reopen. I'm just trying to get caught up on everything in my life. All right, so much love and light, Scorpio. We will be back for many more readings.